Hey man, listen, we down here in North. Uh oh, uh oh, hold up, y'all, hold up. Uh oh. Check my man out. Check my man out. Early in the morning. Check my man out right here. Early in the morning. That money clean. Check him out, he's still up there. Check him out, y'all. Calisthenics early in the morning. Check my man out. Okay, okay. Straight from the pull-up bar, coming into the dips. Check him out, y'all. Radical praise, check them out. Give thanks. Rustin, I appreciate you, man. Okay, got off the dip, bro. Is this the push-ups here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check my man out with the push-ups. Yo, yo, what's up, man? Peace. What's going on, kid? All is well. Hey, man. What's your name, man? Shaheen. Shaheen? Yeah, underscore rugged. Okay. Underscore rugged? Yeah. Shaheen the rugged child. You yeah, already know. Yo, Shah, check it out. How old are yes. you? I'm an old man. You old man? Yeah, I'm an old man. Oh, I'm a young old man. He don't want to give his age, y'all. No, 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 I mean, nah, because it's like when you count, I don't count. It's all, no such thing as it's only yes, yesterday and tomorrow is now. So, what are we counting? It's what the same moment. Say? Yesterday and tomorrow is now. now. Check them out, y'all. Yes, and tomorrow's now, so what we counting? I'm now years old. Now years old? Yeah. Now, Sha, check it out. You out here in the morning, you uh, you out here working out. Yeah. Let's, let's stay right here in the sun right here, Sha, so we get it get it good. Um, Is this something you do on a consistent basis as far as your health and your wellness? Well, I'm in a recovery process right now. Um, Recovery what, Sha? My mind, body, and soul. Check them out, y'all. So, um, after I got it, I used to do it. Part of my program in prison, and then I came home, and I just started doing everything else. Where you in the prison at, Shah? Oh, New York State. Okay. Clinton, Washington, uh, Franklin, Otisville. Been around a few spots, but. What time you did? Seven to fourteen on one bid. My first bid was like two years, but yeah, that's whack. But the, the moral story is, it's the programming. And when I got out here, I lost my program. So I said I gotta get back into the program. So I implemented. Gotta start with the body first. Okay. Yeah. Now, 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 shot. Um, any supplements, steroids, creatine? Nah, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Just straight water. And, and first, I walk, get the, get the testosterone through the body. Now, just hit the bar, dips and all that. Call it a day. Go eat something. Maybe protein, peanut butter and jelly. Maybe you know what I'm saying. Sardines. Things or smoothie with a little protein, maybe wheat protein and. That's it. How many days a week you, you get money, Sha? So far, I've been consistent every day of the week, five days a week, taking two days off. Um, you know, not 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 my um, not to mention my schedule. You know, if I have something to do, I also take off. But I'm mainly a calisthenic dude anyway. Like the weights, I'm really not a weight guy. I can do light weights. I like light weights with calisthenics. Cause I notice with calisthenics, you never really fall off. It's like even if you fall off, all you gotta do is boom that pump, come back, you back and two, three three, weeks, yeah, back you back the... looking like you never left. The weights, things start hanging, it's over, it's over, it goes right back. So, you know, I used to always wonder that in prison, like you see dudes like this, boom, they be slim, but they be chopped up and they swift. Them big dudes can't do nothing. Yeah, so. No, 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 shot. Check it out. Um, what kind of foods you eat, man? You know what I'm saying? Oh man, I just I've been I've been good. I haven't eaten I haven't eaten beef in about three months now. Why you backed up off the beef, Sha? I started eating beef because I started to feel like I'm trying to get away from chicken right now. Let me start saying try. I'm getting off of chicken. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the process of of, of weeding off. I'm on a method for the chicken. Check them out, Sha. You know what I'm saying? Because I just feel like I just start to feel heavy when I ate it. And then my moods were switching. Then I read something that if, 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 if they slaughtered the animal and the animal is in distress, you eating that and those things, those DNA characteristics start to live in you. And you know, so I, I noticed that from my feelings and then when I read it, I, that just confirmed it. 
Now, 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 Shai, um, aside from the physical benefits Shaheen gets from working out, does Shaheen get any mental or spiritual benefits? Oh man, yeah, because it's 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 the it's, it's the uh, especially here, you see all these trees. Check them out, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You get to breathe, and 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 it's the energy. You know what I mean? Mind clear, open. I walk around this thing with my beats on. I'm writing, ideas is flowing. You know what I'm saying? And that's the only time ideas flow, really, when you're in motion. Because they're moving too. Everything's moving. So if you're standing still, guess what? Everything's moving right on past you. Now, Shaq, check it out. Um, what was some of the workouts? You, you was hitting the ball hard when you was in the joint. The niggas yeah. was going hard in there? Yeah, I mean, you know... I wasn't, I'm not even going to sit here and say, like, I'm some workout freak, you know what I'm saying? Nah, but I also knew I had to stay in shape, you know, just in case you got to keep somebody off you, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and you know, coming, getting back into the music industry, touring, got to have breath control, you got to be able to mm. dance around the whole stage for, I got a long catalog, mm. I can perform two hours straight, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be able to get through that and running and jumping and giving people your all. So, you know, I'm in the process. I'm walking around now. Pretty soon I'll step it up to slow jogging. Then hope, you know, one day I'll be lapping, you know what I'm saying? Lapping around and doing countless, countless workouts. But I don't want to get addicted because like anything else, you can get addicted. You know what I'm saying? I just want to do enough to, to, to be sustained. Yo, that's interesting, man. Um, so when you perform in them shows, Shy, and you're on the road, it takes a lot physically to, to stay on point and do them. Them, them 45 minute sets, them hour sets. Man. Yo, listen, I was doing it intoxicated and high. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was really beat. You know what I'm saying? Really, really beat most of the time and really beat myself down. So now I'm so excited to do it with a clear mind because it's even this fact of knowing your lyrics. Mm. Knowing your lyrics, you can forget lyrics. You, you're, not, you're not as sharp as your sword. And I believe working out sharpens your sword. Because it gets your mind to thinking and then you get creative and then you start to feel better. It builds that confidence. It builds that confidence. Well, now, 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 Shaheen, you talked about you in the recovery phase of your life. Uh, could, could you elaborate a little more on that, man? Oh, man, I did a lot of damage to myself. Talk about you it, Shaheen. What kind of damage, of, man? Oh, man, mental damage, mental, physical, and spiritual, right? So, um... You become famous, you know what I'm saying? You get money, you get women, you become this rock star and you just sleeping with anybody. You you, you just, you know what I'm saying? You spinning carelessly. Check them out, You know what Chuck. I'm saying? You hurting feelings, you know what I'm saying? You did things. So when I found myself in prison and that one day, you know, you know when you're doing a lot of time, that one day you just be like, I want to go home already. Mm. I wish people just shut the fuck up. It's just always noise. What'd and I just want to, I wish people shut the fuck up. No, no, before that, that Part. I wanna I wanna go home. Check them out, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I was just like, yo, the noise, I was tired of hearing the noise because it's never quiet. You always gonna hear a buzzer, a bell, a key, somebody talking, somebody yelling, somebody, Laughing, you know what I'm saying? You have no control. And I remember I hit that phase and I'm like, yo, what happened? I looked at myself, I was like, yo, Shaheen, what did you do to us? You know what I'm saying? Ooh. And then I remember Wait, ho, 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 Shaheen. You looked at who? I looked at myself and I asked myself, what did I do to us? Check them out, you know what I'm saying? And then I started to remember who I was because I lost myself. You know what I'm saying? I lost myself of wanting to become other than who I am for what to, for people's acceptance. You know what I'm saying? To make that next record to be what loved more, or or you know what I'm saying? Even to the point, even to the point. Then when I wasn't getting it from the music industry, I went as far as to sell the same drugs to kill my own mother to you know what I'm saying? Sustain this lifestyle and this image. You know what I'm saying? So when all that went said and done, and I hit rock bottom, and I was in the penitentiary, I look back. And seeing the damage I caused, I didn't kill somebody, I didn't poison my people in my neighborhood, I didn't spit lyrics that fucking promoted death. I did all this shit. I said, yo, you know what? From this moment on, I'm fixing this. This is not gonna end, not gonna be my narrative. And and you know what I'm saying? I, I, and then I said, you know what? Um, I never forget it. I talk to the person that's inside of me, and people mm. say that's crazy, right? Mm. That subconscious that's inside of, that you fight with every day, that you talk to today. Somebody say they don't talk to it. They do, it's just that sometimes you don't uh, say it out loud, right? So when you when you debating in your mind whether you should or shouldn't do your consciousness, listen to that, because usually that's right. You know what I'm saying? And I believe that's the source. 
that's within us to guide us, right? So when I listened to that, I said, man, if I'm going to do this, if, if the universe gives me A, B, and C, give me my life back. Tell me what, give me the words to say, give me the inspiration to, and the strength and the courage, you know what I'm saying, to find myself. And, and that's the goal. So every day, like I said before, yesterday and tomorrow is now. We waste so much time. I remember, I remember they was like, yo, um, that we spent, man, the son of man spent many, many, many years searching for what exists on the planet. You know what I'm saying? And looking in the sky everywhere else for that supreme, right? And it's within you all along. Check them out, Joe. So I wasted mad years looking for something I already had. <laughs> it's great. Yo, 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 Shy, man. This is a dope, dope interview, man. And thank you for letting me hit this joint. And you touching on some things, man. Uh, the confrontation with self, the looking inside of self, and listening to these inner voices, right? And like to the younger dudes or, or to this this hip hop era, that ain't considered cool. That's like like corny and whack. You man. know why? You wanna know the truth? Check them out, y'all. They ain't been through enough shit yet. They ain't been through enough shit. They ain't been through enough shit. When you go through enough shit, nigga, I'm gonna tell you some shit, nigga. When you go through enough, the, the toughest gangster niggas cry, nigga. I didn't seen it. Break I didn't seen it. Where 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 it's like five minutes changed their whole life forever. The issue didn't seem so big. At the time, it seemed like I could kill for this issue. Disrespect, I could murder for this disrespect. How that 20 years down the line, see how a person feel about that same situation. And then sometimes it's too late to go back to correct your errors. See, you can't correct your errors once you're responsible. See, I've realized that I didn't only take take, take, take uh, Mr. Oleas from his family. I don't say victim, I say him by his name because he's a person, right? Mr. Oleas from his family, I stopped generations from happening. You know what I'm saying? When I have grandkids, grandkids won't have grandkids. They won't have grandkids. Like I stopped the whole lineage from my careless behaviors. You know what I'm saying? So I feel I have to give that, give that back and give life now. Shaheem, you got on your hat and your hoodie. Live life, give thanks, radical praise. Talk to me about that, man. Well, Give Thanks is my single that's out now featuring Little Vicious. It's streaming everywhere. You can get it. Yo, that link um, gonna be underneath this video. Follow Shaheem on his Instagram. Go yeah. download and stream that single right there. I'm give sorry, Shaheem, I cut you off. Yeah, Give Thanks. Um, Yeah, and every day I just give thanks, man. Give thanks for what, Shaheem? I give thanks for being for now. For be, because it's like I say, this is it. You know, this is it right now in this moment. You know what I mean? Shaheem, last question, and I'm gonna cut you loose. Is Shaheem's life already written by a supreme being in higher power and there's nothing he can do to change his fate and how his life is going to turn out? Or is Shaheem the author, the painter, and the construction company of his life and he gets to make it what he wants it to be with his behavior, his choices, and his decisions? I'm going to say all the above. Check him out, y'all. Because there is a such thing as the decree. You know what I mean? If it is, it is, and it will be. If it ain't, it won't be. So whatever your decision that you make, that's what you're supposed to learn because the lesson is in the blessing. So look for that. Look for that and know you are held responsible. It's like, it's like yo, you could eat it. You could eat all the candy you want. But you're going to have to go to the dentist eventually, nigga. They're going to they gonna tear your shit. So, you know, everything is cause and a action and cause. You know what I mean? Um, um, you know, cause and effect. You know, pardon me. You know, and and that's when you just have to do critical thinking and think about your consequences first. Mm. Think critical consequences. Consequences, everything. I remember when I sat in front of the parole board, right? And they said, "Hey, you got this thing with these guns, right?" And they said, "And I don't want to hear that you protecting your life, shit." <laughs> Ain't that something, right? What's, what's my go-to? We didn't really have a go-to. After that, because that was my goal. So, yo, people trying to get me, yo. You know what I'm saying? And then I just had to be honest. I said, all my life, I got in situations, and once I was in it, I was trying to scramble to figure out how to get out. I said, prison has taught me to think about the consequences before I do it. So now I say, yo, go into that hood knowing that they do A, B, and C there, because that's the workings of there. If I go there, anything that happens to me there and during that time, my signature's on it, I'm held half responsible too. We have to start holding ourselves accountable. You know what I'm saying? Not just pointing the finger. You know what I'm saying? 
Chad, give them uh, your contact information. They want to book you to do any shows. Well, how can people get in touch with you? Man? Oh, man, you can book the Rugged Road to Recovery. You know what I mean? It's a uh, motivational speaking slash hip-hop performance. Um, I can be reached on Instagram at Shaheem underscore Rugged. Uh, my website, ISO360.org. Facebook, Shaheem Manchow Franklin. YouTube, Isometric Concepts. You know what I'm saying? The Rugged Road to Recovery. Oh, before I go, I want to shout out my brother, Travi McCoy. Look out for our new uh, album we working on right now. We formed a group called The Man Children. Check so look out. out for that. Shaheem and Travi McCoy, The Man Children. Yeah, shout out Jay hood too. We got one in the works. Shaheem, last day, man. I know I said the show Excuse was the last day. There's some kids, man. They 19 years old. They 18, they 17, 24, 27. They done lost hope. They depressed. They broken. Some of them done caught a case. They done got, they can't get a job. They they don't know what to do. All the stuff going on in the news. They depressed. Give them something to get them. Come up out of that, Shaheen. Stink. Take a moment. Find one of these benches. Quiet. Bring a pen and a pad. Write two lists. One's gonna be pros. One's gonna be cons. About whatever you're dealing with. So let's say you broke. The cons is why are you broke? The pros is how can you not be broke? And once you start to look at your list, you just start to see where the problem lies and then you can fix it. You know what I'm saying? And then only then can you fix it. But if you don't know what the problem is or you're not identifying with the problem in the first place, you're just gonna run around ch dog chasing his tail. You know what I mean? Yo, y'all, Shaheen, the rugged child. Good yeah. shot, man. Thank you. Do me a favor, man. Tell the people, see, yo, fuck with Sean's YouTube channel. He got the dopest channel on YouTube. Yo, fuck with Sean's channel. Hold on. Yo, fuck with Sean's channel. He got the dopest channel on YouTube. You already know. Shaheen, the rugged child. Shaheen, the rugged child. Peace. Yeah.